What is going on guys today? We are fishing from a paddle board. I haven't done this since I was a teenager. When I was a teenager, I first got a hold of a paddle board while I was on vacation in Hawaii. And of course, the first thing I thought of is, let's fish from it. So, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? This was provided to me, given to me, ooh, 10 feet, six inches long. This paddle board was given to me by Goose Hill Sports. Huge shout out to them. I'll put a link to them in the description. They sell these. It even came with this pump and this beautiful paddle that is actually adjustable, which is so nice because so many paddle board paddles are uh, too short. So it can extend just like so. Today we're gonna be floating a river and doing some trout fishing and some craw dadding and who knows what else, who knows, might try to find a frog on the way or whatever, try to cook some frogs, who knows. Also, I'd like to shout out Rod Runner for providing me with these um, rod holders here. They mount up the garage perfectly, because if you need any uh, rod holders like for your garage or you wanna mount up some rod holders to your like cooler for your kayak or anything like that, they make all kinds of cool stuff like that. And they also make this like rod carrying thing here. So if you like to hear lots of fishing rods with you and you're a bank fisherman, definitely check them out in the description below. Thank you to all the subscribers who sent me this cool stuff. <sighs> let's get down to the river and let's get fishing. All right, we'll see how um, balanced this thing is, how easy it is to stand up. I hope it's easy because it's been a little while since I've been on something. You do get better at paddle boards, but Seems pretty nice. First impression. Cool. Oh man, guys, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous day. A lot of other floaters out. It's about two in the afternoon. So not a whole lot of people yet, but there will be more. But a beautiful day to be on the river. I'm excited. Let's get fishing here. All right, guys, let's try standing up on this thing. Pretty stable. Nice. It's been a while. It is like riding a bike, kind of. But, uh, yeah, I think I still got the balance. We have a bunch of people freaking out over here. It's their first time on the river, and they haven't seen these waterfalls. I'm actually not going to go over them. I'm going to walk my paddleboard over, and we're going to fish the rapids right up here, guys, with some, some hard baits and see if we can catch a monster trout. Oh, man, look at that right there, my friends. This is a lure that a subscriber, Seth, sent to me. Said he has caught some monster trout on this bad boy. Check that out, little frog patterned crankbait. Let's give it a go. Got one, got one guys, I got one. Oh shoot, missed him. That was our first bite of the day on that little crankbait. Look at this V of geese right here. Coming right down river. Bang, bang. I don't know why I have a pistol. Oh, got one, got one, got one. I'm just trying to get around this tree here. Hooked up. A nice, nice, nice. A little rainbow. And it looks like a wild one. You know when he jumped? Yeah, it is a wild one. When he jumped, I thought this has to be the, the wild one. They fight so much harder. Oh, got the hooks just a little bit. Look at that, guys, on the classic MEPS spinner. I finally switched that. You use a bunch of different lures. Catch a wild trout. That is what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, guys, funny story. So first of all, it's been a while since I've caught one. In fact, you can kind of see the sun starting to go down. It's been a while since I caught one, but I looked down and there's this grasshopper on my paddle board. So I don't know if when I kind of pushed it up on shore to fish a few spots, if he crawled on it or whatever, but, uh, or maybe he was floating down river and just saw my paddle board as a rescue raft, but he was on my paddle board, so I caught him. And so now he's on a hook. We're gonna see if we can catch a trout finally. Well, I've caught one, but it's been a while since I've had a bite, so. Guys, got one, got one. Finally. Woo! Yes, on that grasshopper. Guys, I was getting discouraged. I fished fish that grasshopper for like 20 minutes. Finally, got something. Oh, and it is a beautiful trout. Ouch. Oh, 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 no. Well, got the hook in me. Lost the trout. Well, that about sums up the day of fishing right there. 
Well, that's how uh, fishing goes sometimes. Um, two fish in like four, four hours of fishing, two fish. Yeah. And I lost out. I was planning on eating that one because we're outside the zone where it has to be 14 inches or bigger to keep. So if I had landed him, I would have kept him, but uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll try again. We have about an hour left. Oh, I just see the claw of a huge crawdad. I mean, massive. Guys, look at this claw dad. He is soft. I mean, he just, you can even see where I like pinched his skin. He is soft, soft. Let's kill him and get him on a hook. Catch a big, hopefully a big trout. All right, big piece of crawdad going out. Come on, big trout. Oh, I need a big one to salvage this slow, painfully slow fishing day. Guys, nice, I got one, I got one. Yes! I got one, and it feels, feels pretty decent. Oh yeah, oh yeah. On that, wait, first let's get him way up on land here. <laughs> All right. <sighs> well, we got dinner, boys, and boy, am I hungry. Not a giant, but still decent fish. We're gonna keep him. There we go, guys, another piece of crawdad on. Let's get a big, I really, really am craving to catch a big trout. Guys, let's pause before we resume fishing and do a quick giveaway. Guys, this video is brought to you by, notice my shirt, Dark Energy. Dark Energy makes the most legit power banks on. No worries, it's waterproof, it's shockproof, it's heat proof, it's cold proof. This is an indestructible power bank. You can drop it in the water. You can do whatever you want. You can run over it with a truck. These things will not break. It is the ultimate power bank. You can plug, hold on. Because it's waterproof, there we go. I can charge my phone on the go. If you are a traveler, these are the way to go. We are doing a giveaway, not of one, not of three, not even of five. We're doing a 10 power bank giveaway. What I'm gonna do is every time this video reaches a 5,000 like threshold, well, first of all, we'll give one, one away right away. And then every time this video reaches a 5,000 like threshold, I'll give another one away. And what I'll do is I'll pin the winner's comment to the top. And then when I pick the next winner, I'll pin theirs to the top. So I can only pin one at a time and you'll dethrone the person who just won the giveaway. And on and on it goes till we reach hopefully 50,000 likes on this video, guys, I will keep giving away these all you have to do to enter the giveaway obviously put a like on it because we want to get the likes up there comment down below and then go to dark energy i'll put a link to their website in the description there is a special link and they'll have one thing that you have to do there i'm not, actually not sure what it is because they're they're doing the giveaway like i said they're the sponsor so there's something you have to do there i think you have to just put in your email or there's something like that and um and once you do those three things i personally will send you one of these indestructible power banks right to your door up to t we have 10 of these guys i don't know why i'm holding up five fingers we have 10 of these i think these are like 100 bucks 100 bucks for this indestructible incredibly powerful power bank guys i was getting ready to head out my trout is gone it was literally just laying right here i, I think a mink might have taken it that's happened to me before dang i, I was standing right here and i didn't i didn't see him well they're go we really have to catch one now i'm hungry all right come on one I, now i really need, i have no food i've been fishing all day haven't eaten anything all day all i brought with me was a water bottle i'm really hungry we really got it. it's crunch time now folks got one got one guys 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 i got a good one got a good one and it jumped you should see it jump it's going behind me Holy mackerel. Come on. That's a 
good one. It's a good one. I have light. I have six pound test line, so I got to be careful. It got off. Well, that was my last piece of crawdad too. <sighs> Guys, I have tied on a blue fox silver spinner. We'll see if this can score a fish. The trap just flipped mine. Trout, little trout though. Look at that. We're gonna let him go real quick. Come on, I can see where we're gonna take out. take him off the hook. I can see where we're going to take out. Oh. <laughs> Almost lost him. Guys, Whew, we got dinner. Not a huge dinner, but I'll take about, about 12 inches. Whew. Yes, yes. All right, we have a few more casts. A few more casts. Come on. cast of the day okay this is the last cast absolute last because right there is where I have to take out come on I'll just paddle upstream one more cast okay <laughs> this is so dumb I shouldn't be doing this I really am done for the day for realies guys it was such a fantastic day out here on the paddleboard I got to catch a bus hopefully it's still there Last bus. Hey, ladies. I've got a bunch of ducks behind me. Last bus is at 7.30. Um, yeah, let's hope we catch the bus. Oh, so like, hey, is there one more bus or am I too late? We have two buses, 8 and 9 o'clock. Oh, and 8 and pull up over there at the orange bus. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys. I didn't know this. I thought the last bus was at 7.30. It's 7.30 right now, but the last bus is actually at 9. So I have all kinds of time. I rush down here for nothing. But, so, but what I'm going to do, the next bus, bus leaves at 8. So I'm gonna fish for about 10 or 15 more minutes. Well, my friends, since I can't land a trout, as you saw in that last one, I think I'm getting too excited and I'm rushing him. But since I can't land a trout, I'm gonna try to just catch a couple crawfish in the next 10 minutes to add to our meal.
Well guys, a quick half a dozen crawdads there. Now let's get up to the bus, it's almost eight. And let's go back to the truck and then we're gonna start cooking up a little evening cookout. the truck my friends wow what a day on the water um here's one small problem we have i only have a few crawdads and a small trout i'm starving it's like 8 30. so those are not going to be enough to fill me up but i have an idea Hi there, it's a great day at Chick-fil-A. My name is Elizabeth, how may I serve you? Hi Elizabeth, I would love a regular Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Totally, what else for you? Extra pickles on that. Of uh, course. And then I want a Chick-fil-A deluxe sandwich as yep. well. All right guys. Chick-fil-A. So here's what we got going on. So we got the first Chick-fil-A sandwich. Extra pickles. And we're gonna add on that one a second patty. Boom, we got a double Chick-fil-A sandwich. Better pray real quick. Oh, that leaves us with this Chick-fil-A sandwich, the deluxe, which has lettuce and tomato on it. And we're gonna make a fish sandwich out of this. We're gonna turn that trout, maybe a trout and crawfish sandwich. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna toss the trout. Ooh, my guys, the recipe, the recipe for the day. I've got some minced garlic right here, if you guys can see that. And we're gonna cook this trout in minced garlic, butter, and rosemary leaves. Right here, rosemary, garlic, and we're gonna add some salt. Rosemary, garlic, salt, butter. That, that sounds like a really good match to me. All right, my friends, the trout is done. It is flaking away from the bones. So we are gonna take it, set it off to the side, and add our water for boiling up the crawfish. And while we wait for the crawdad water to boil, we will take this trout and we will assemble our trout sandwich right here oh man the crispy skin the flaky trout that is what i'm talking about we have piled it high with trout now it's time to finish it off with a little bit of chick-fil-a sauce right on top yeah i've never or i can throw the chick-fil-a sauce everywhere the cup broke hold on yeah i've never tried chick-fil-a sauce on trout I'm gonna spread it around there. Never tried it on trout, so this should be interesting. I don't see why it wouldn't taste amazing. And we shall put the last piece of bread right on top, right on top, and we have turned a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich into a Chick-fil-A trout sandwich. Call it trout filet. I should make my own chain store. Trout filet. And instead of chicken products, have all trout products. Hmm. All right, let's try this. Mm. You know what's piled high with me? When you bite in one end and a bunch spills out the other end. I have to say, trout with that sweet Chick-fil-A sauce on it is good. To the water, we add Zatarain's shrimp and crab boil to make them spicy. And the wooded beardsman's wadobo seasoning. Crawdads going in. This one is a soft one. We'll be able to eat him whole. Yeah, I'm mostly focused on the trout fishing today. But mm, these look good. This will be a fun way to end the evening. I thought I caught six, but I ended up catching seven, including a soft one. Not too bad. I already finished that trout sandwich. This will be a nice way to end it. Ooh, I'm gonna start with a soft one. Crawdad just squirted at me. All right, soft crawdad. Not even peeling the shell. Wow. 
<laughs> Spicy. <coughs> wow. When they're soft, they absorb 10 times the seasoning that the hard ones that you have to peel do because they don't have that protective shell. Last crawdad of the day. Guys, oh, the double Chick-fil-A sandwich kicked it off. I, I needed that. I needed something to eat. Then the Chick-fil-A trout sandwich was delicious and end it with some crawdads. So, so good. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, what I'll do is I'll put a link right here. It's a playlist of every catch and cook I've ever made. Everything from piranha catch cooks to octopus catch cooks. If you are an old subscriber, maybe you've missed something. If you're brand new, you can just go through the list and check out what you want. Put another video right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.